In this video we're going to take a look at how to make a simple modification to a post processor in Bobcat Camp. Here I already have a part programmed on the screen as well as I've already posted code for it. Now if we look at this code it's actually it's uh, here's our tool change and we can see in here let's say we're using a GO2 or an arc move on the corner using I and J. Let's say that we want to make this a radius value instead. Now to do that we'd need to modify the post processor. So easiest way to get to the post processor here's we could see I'm using Haas VF mill. So I'm gonna right click and go to edit and when I go to select my post processor I get a list of all of them. You can see that they're dot mill post files. So here's my Haas VF. I'm gonna go ahead and right click on that and it gives me a choice to edit. Now that will open up the post with uh, notepad. In this case I'm going to use a program called notepad plus. Okay, so here is my uh, actual post processor. Now to figure out which line I'm working on there's something in here called a debug mode. So I'm just going to go ahead and use find. We'll come down here. It's line 26 set debug. Here it says debug off. Let's go ahead and make that say debug on and then we'll save the post. I come back to Bobcad. I'm going to cancel. We still have the Haas selected. Now when we post, it's going to post out in a debug mode. It shows each line of code which line it's coming from inside of the post processor. So here I could see starting blocks 2 are all of these codes. And when we come down to our first line that has a GO2 or a GO3, either case, I could see it's line 64. Feed moves, arc move, XY. So the way that this is output is from line 64. I'm going to come back to the post processor and go to line 64. So I could see that there's a couple things going on in here. It's outputting n comma. Each one of these is a variable. Each one of these variables is separated by a comma. You could do two things in here. You could use a variable. Most of these are named pretty well. And everything's separated by commas. If you put things inside of quotations, with the comma separated, they'll hard output or they'll put out whatever text you have inside of those quotations. So if we post this again and come down to 64, we can see now it outputs hello on every time that there's an arc mover, every time line 64 comes out. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Now towards the bottom of the post processor are a couple of things. If we scroll all the way down, some simple questions. Is X modal? Is Y modal? Are the G codes modal? And so on, whether or not it uses sequence numbers. Now in here, I could see line 222, arc center. It asked me whether or not if I want to use absolute, incremental, or an unsigned, or a radius. Let's go ahead and use a radius. That's E. So we'll change this value to E and save the post. We'll come back to Bobcad and we'll post the code again. Now I could see on any one of these line 64's where the arc outputs, it now outputs a radius value instead of the I and J absolute or incremental centers. Now most changes in here are pretty simple and pretty straightforward. And you could just read through and change the lines of code that need to be changed. Now if you are going to edit your post, I suggest that you save a copy before making any changes and use that post to make the changes you can see that the post need to be saved as a dot mil post file. If you're using lathe, it's a lathe post, an EDM, an EDM post. Let's go ahead and turn off debug mode. So we'll come back to the post. It's easy to use find for some of the things that you know will be there. And we'll turn debug off and save. Now when we post our code, it's going to keep the radius values and get rid of the debug comments.